Apple embarked on Project Titan in 2014, assembling a team of over 1,000 experts and engineers to develop an electric vehicle with limited self-driving capabilities in a secretive location near their Cupertino headquarters. However, the project has encountered various challenges, including internal conflicts and leadership issues, leading to significant shifts in direction. Though 2016 rumors suggested that Apple had shelved plans for an iCar by 2020, it was back on. And guess what? The first iCar was launched this week itself. But something happened that Apple enthusiasts would have never dreamed of. It wasn't Apple who launched it. Join us as we look into details about the world's first iCar and unveil who launched it. The realization dawns that the iCar name is not linked to the prestigious Apple brand but to Cherry, a Chinese state-owned automaker with an intriguingly whimsical name. Whether this association was intentional remains a mystery. Cherry, historically known for producing affordable compact urban vehicles, is set to transform its image with the introduction of the car brand. Cherry, the Chinese automotive brand, seems to have seized the opportunity to claim the name before Apple could utilize it. Recently, Cherry made headlines by announcing the launch of its independent electric vehicle brand, iCar, and unveiling its first two models at the Shanghai Auto Show. Cherry's growth story is indeed remarkable, as it has achieved numerous milestones and established itself as a prominent player in the global automotive industry. The journey began in 1997 when Cherry was established in Wuhu a city located in the Anhui province of China. As a state-owned enterprise, Cherry's initial focus was on manufacturing passenger cars, minivans and SUVs under the Cherry marquee, along with commercial vehicles under the Cherry brand. In 1999, just two years later, Cherry commenced production of its first passenger car model, the Fingian, and introduced it to the Chinese market. This marked the pivotal moment that set Cherry on its path to becoming a significant player in the automotive industry. In 2001, Cherry embarked on its overseas expansion by exporting its first batch of cars to Syria. This marked the beginning of Cherry's international presence. By 2003, Cherry had achieved the notable distinction of becoming China's largest passenger cart exporter. The popularity of its QQ model in emerging markets like Russia, South America, and Africa played a significant role in this accomplishment. With a strong foundation built on years of experience and global recognition, Cherry's introduction of the iCar brand represents another significant step forward in its evolution within the automotive industry. Cherry's impressive trajectory of success continued with significant achievements in subsequent years. In 2006, the company reached a significant milestone by launching its first self-developed engine. A year later, Cherry formed a joint venture with Israel Corporation, focusing on the development of electric vehicles, expanding its global footprint. Cherry established its first overseas factory in Iran in 2009. In 2010, Cherry solidified its position in the market by entering into a joint venture with Jaguar Land Rover to manufacture vehicles in China under their joint brand. Two years later, the company introduced its first sub-brand, Rich, which targeted discerning high-end consumers in China. Cherry's dedication to innovation and technology remained unwavering as it formed a strategic partner with Didi, China's leading ride-hailing company in 2016. This collaboration aimed to develop intelligent connected vehicles and innovative mobility solutions. A significant milestone for Cherry arrived in 2020 with the launch of its inaugural hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, the Cherry New Energy S61. Today, Cherry Automotive stands as a prominent player in the global automotive industry, boasting a diverse product portfolio, a robust international presence, and a well-earned reputation for innovation and quality. Building upon this foundation, the company recently introduced the iCar, featuring it as their first car model while also teasing the upcoming release of the iCar 3, a robust SUV model. According to the company, iCar is specifically targeted towards young buyers with budgets ranging from $22,000 to $60,000. Interestingly, the company's logo, a prominent eye, has reportedly been created by the same individual who designed the adorable panda mascot for the 2022 Olympics. However, it appears that significantly less time was devoted to the design of the iCar logo in comparison. The car's design is truly impressive with scissor doors and T-shaped LEDs reminiscent of Tesla's iconic emblem. However, it's important to note that this car is not a copycat. It has its own unique design and features, 
The futuristic vibe is enhanced by the illuminated T-shaped elements on the large wheels, and the sleek rear shoulders and integrated spoiler highlight the car's emphasis on speed. Although it's still a concept vehicle, a production version seems to be on the horizon. The interior is equally impressive, with a sci-fi inspired design featuring a yoked steering wheel with an integrated display that gives the feeling of piloting a spaceship. The central dashboard touchscreen is also aesthetically pleasing, with an illuminated area that resembles water. Cherry Auto has also teased their upcoming iCar 3, an electric SUV designed for challenging terrains. It draws inspiration from legendary off-road vehicles and boasts an eye-catching exterior with boxy wheel arches and an iCar all-road badge. The latest LED technology is utilized for the front and rear lights of the car. The distinctive eye light signature can be seen in both the front and rear, along with an illuminated logo in the middle. The dashboard features a large center screen that occupies most of the space, while the futuristic seats resemble those seen in Star Trek movies. Surprisingly, instead of the expected GT model, the iCar 03 was unveiled, which appears to be a rugged off-roader. However, despite its tough appearance, the car is actually compact, measuring only 4.2 meters in length, according to the company. This size is similar to the Smart No. 1, and interestingly, both vehicles share a wheelbase of 2.7 meters. During the unveiling, the windows of the off-roader were blacked out, indicating that either the interior was not yet ready or it would be revealed at a later stage. The eye light signature is present in the front and rear of the car, and its resemblance to the Mini Defender is a positive aspect. The iCar 3 is not just about looks. It also comes equipped with advanced features like Cherry's IVA Virtual Assistant and an ADAS suite for driver assistance. While the interior design remains a mystery, the prototype suggests a similar length to European subcompact SUVs, but with a longer wheelbase akin to the compact segment, promising a comfortable ride both on and off the road. The future of iCar looks promising, with plans to introduce a diverse range of electric vehicles based on the IMS architecture. The collaboration between iCar and CATL, a leading battery maker, is also noteworthy iCar plans to incorporate sodium-ion batteries, which offer advantages such as increased safety and raw material abundance into their vehicles under the NRQ label. This collaboration also introduces a cutting-edge virtual assistant called IVA, which enhances the driving experience with voice-activated commands. The use of sodium-ion batteries in iCar vehicles is an exciting development, considering the potential for scalability and the advancements being made in the technology. The collaboration between Cherry and CATL will launch the NRQ battery brand, and it will be fascinating to witness the impact of sodium-ion batteries on the automotive industry. In addition to the two newly unveiled cars, Cherry showcased its future product lineup during the event. The iCar brand has plans to introduce a total of six electric vehicles, ranging from MPVs to SUVs and sports cars. So do you want to try out these new cars? Did Apple disappoint you? Or did you expect this to happen? Let us know in the comments section below.